These four officers were awarded for saving this baby from a hot car. You're okay, sweetheart. You're okay. Good freaking spot, boys. Good spot. But to find out just how heroic they were, let's go one year before that, when a baby was trapped in a locked car in one of the hottest months of the year. Okay. She's sweating pretty bad. Right? How long? Break it. Well, Break it. Are you it can, it can get over 100 degrees in that car in a very short August is the second hottest month after July, so when a baby is already sweating after three to five minutes of being accidentally trapped, the officers quickly enter panic mode. Get the FD. Get the FD, come on. Officers first use a slim jam to try to hit the unlock buttons, and while that usually works, this time was a lot different. Just pressed it, it's not open. I hit the unlock twice. I hit it twice. Hey, when it's good, let me know. Can everybody back up? For some reason, the unlock button refused to work, and with time ticking away and tensions high, the officers switched to the most effective tool. Well, I'm not doing this all day with the baby in the car. No. Hold on. A2 to 291, just so you know, we're going to bust out this window. The baby's been here too. While a hammer was sure to get the windows open, there was a fear that shards of glass would fly out and possibly stab the baby. That made this the most tense moment for the mother and the officers. Swing it. Hey, Jason. Here. We have. We have an ambulance coming. Yes. Transport out to Wycliffe DMV, Arlington Avenue, Panama, Tunnel Nine, Seven Three Two. Tunnel Nine, Seven Three Two. So is she all good? This side. This side. She's crying. She's crying. Can you just hold her on your shoulder? I'm gonna put this under now. Okay. With quick thinking from the officers, this baby was in safe hands in under three minutes. But the next kid was stuck in the car for over 15 minutes in the hottest month of the year. Relay to me. I have a push to, to start okay. button on my thing. You have to lock the button twice and then hit the start right, button. Right, your keys, right. And I threw it over the front seat, and when I went to go, the back door shut and all the doors were locked. It just turned off. Okay. It's been running for 10 minutes. Yeah, we it's have... Um... AC, but... Hi. It just turned off. Okay. We have a tow truck on the way. They have the ability to pop the lock. Um. Since the car's AC only just stopped working and the car was parked under a shade, the officer opted to wait for a locksmith to open up the car. But with his arrival came a major problem. The door panel was too tight to fit a wedge in, but the locksmith finally got into the back, and while he tried to prime it open, the officer contacted the car's lockout service to get help. The VIN number, I'm Officer Osceola with Stewart Police. The VIN number is 1 Golf November Sierra Charlie Bravo Kilo Charlie 7 Foxtrot Romeo 198283. We need it open now. Okay, we actually do not have a connection with that vehicle, so we're unable to unlock it. They have OnStar. They've had it in the past. I understand that, but we don't have an active OnStar account on it. I we're not able to unlock it. You have no way to do it. No, sir. That's ridiculous. All right, bye-bye. The online service was of no help, and the locksmith could not open the door. So with time ticking and no help in sight, the officer went with the most viable option. Fine. Let's get this 
Hold on. I don't know how to remote start it. Hey! Okay, she's good. She got it. We'll, we'll get air going. You get 22 it, we got it. Just don't give her too much water. She okay? The child was hot, but okay, thanks to the officer. But the next kid was lucky to have been saved even before the officers arrived. How did you guys get in the car? It was unlocked. Okay. We didn't know it was unlocked. It just... Oh, baby. <laughs> Thankfully, two passerbys noticed that the baby was crying and immediately dialed 911. But that uncovered several problems for the officer, including calming the baby down. I'm trying to hold on. I've got rescue en route. I don't want to take him out in the hot. The officer managed to calm the baby, but if you're wondering how the passerbys got into the vehicle, well, it wasn't locked. And that wasn't even the worst thing about this case. When you guys came, uh, was he buckled in or did you, was he just like this? It, he was just like that, but he was, you know, facing forward. Or, I don't But not buckled. Uh, just we, in the seat. Just in the seat. Was he locked up or did you guys unbuckle him? No, we didn't do anything. Okay. We didn't do anything. Okay. We, we, just, okay. we just opened the doors yeah. and then I was still on with 911. Okay. And uh, okay. asked if we should do something and she yeah. said just, yeah. you know. Okay, he's, he's good for now. Let us deal with what we okay. need to do. Not only did the parent leave their child unattended in a hot car, but they didn't bother to buckle them or even lock the car door. And it became a lot worse when the parent finally showed up after abandoning the kid for almost two hours. Okay now, but he was screaming when we got here, okay? Just so you know. Okay, baby. He's okay. Yeah, probably. So he left the baby in here while he was doing that? So the baby's been in here for Probably because when I mean, he was actually giving plasma inside. Mm -hmm. I I forwarded his forty nine to fifty eighteen. Okay, negative anything. Negative. You know your driver's like suspended though, right? The man was reportedly getting plasma sites when he was reminded of his child by security. He was duly arrested and charged with child abuse and endangerment, and the baby was treated for fever and dehydration. The Good Samaritans were appreciated for making the officers' jobs easier. But the next hero officers weren't so lucky. I'm gonna have to, she's been in there about a minute or two. I'm waiting on fire. I'm okay. Just, I'm gonna go for it. Grandma had locked her keys in the car with a one-year-old inside. So, although the officer preferred a tactic that would reduce the spread of glass in the car, time was of the essence. You know you're gonna have to hit it, hit it. Yeah. Uh, it's whacking. Other end. This end. Yep. Yeah, we got any water. Cup, 
Luckily, the glass shards didn't touch the child who looked sleepy, but just all right. But the kids in the next case weren't holding up too well. It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. We got you. You're okay. Those were the cries of two girls who were mistakenly locked in the vehicle by their parents for over 10 minutes. What window are you hitting? The passenger side. I hit it hard. I couldn't breathe. The officer arrived at the scene, but unlike the last officer, he went straight to business. Okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. We got you. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay, guys. The girls were sweating, but it seemed their tears weren't associated with bodily harm. So to ease them up, the officer gave them the rare chance to sit in the front seat of a cop car. She okay? I'm sure she's upset. I think she's upset. You okay, sweetie? Okay. Are you okay? Do you want to see the police dog? We, we both walked out and she's like, you get, because they're on opposite sides, so she's like, I'll get mine, you get yours. I don't know how the door's locked, because I know my lock's broken, I don't ever lock my doors. Okay. And uh, went to open it and it was locked. And I instantly called 911 because I'm like, there's no way we can get in there, Megan. Right. My well, lock's broken. I don't know if the air's on all the way. <laughs> it's okay. The mothers took responsibility for their faults and nurtured the kids till they stopped crying. But the next parent was very unconcerned about his situation. Are you Mr. Jones? Yes. Is, is your white yeah. first outside? Yeah, my daughter's in there. Yeah. Yeah, your daughter's in there, dude. I just brought, I just brought in the... No, 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 no. This man's name is Kada Jones. And if you're wondering why the cops are looking for him, that's because he left his two-year-old daughter in a scalding hot car for nearly an hour. Mm. I'm make sure we had down the windows and everything. No, no, we had to bust the windows to make entry. She's in the what? emergency vehicle right now. You see this paramedic car right here? No. This car right here? I just ran in there. No, dude. No, you don't do that. You don't do that. The two-year-old was found by a bystander burning up with labored breathing while she sat in the car between 100 to 105 degrees. The window down on the one side. The window's bro. down. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? The window's down? Look, 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 look. Look, look on the right side. The window's down. Why did you take your child with you? It was raining. I just brought it, it was back raining. over here. Yeah. Don't you see it's raining? Also, also, also. Don't you see how hot it is out here? Oh my God! It's, it's Florida. Jones seemed to undermine the situation and was only concerned about proving his innocence to the point where he didn't even ask after his daughter. Are you serious, bro? Yeah, I'm not making all this up. No, I think the show is no, here, bro. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like. Yeah. I mean, why would you leave the kids in the car? car? Rain it or not, man. Cause I just you can't do my, it. This is my second Instacart. She got wet the first time. Hop on the seat, man. Hop in. Hop in. Watch you get in. Man, fuck. Jones was arrested and charged with child neglect while the two-year-old was treated on the scene and released to her mother. But the next trapped burning kid was in extreme discomfort as he was covered in his own vomit. 4244, I'm going to attempt to break window. The child has been throwing up. contact with the parent or something in there I don't know what is it the officer arrived after a report from an unknown caller about a child crying in a parking lot since he was covered in vomit he must have been left there for quite a while and needed urgent help I know I know I know I know I got it it's okay it's okay it's okay 
The baby was now in an air-conditioned environment with the officer trying to clean her up, but up till now, there was no clue about who the parent was, but that was only about to change. Okay. Is this your daughter? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The child was handed to an EMT and eventually to her mother. It's unclear if the woman was charged with child endangerment, but the next parent was charged with a lot more after taking down a school stop sign and running from police. The man was chased down and cuffed, but if you're questioning the relevance of this pursuit, listen to what he says next. Yeah, 10 4. Can I get someone back to his car? You left your son in there. The man ran away from the cops and left his son in the car. This was very concerning, but it became much worse when the officers realized that the car was locked with the kids still inside. Get in the car right now, but they have a record coming ASAP, hopefully. They just bust his window out. I just don't want to shed glass if you don't have it. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. in there, you know, and the AC's on. If the AC wasn't on, uh, absolutely. If no, the AC fine. wasn't on, I'd say we'll break it, but the fact that it's on, I don't want to break glass near the baby. Since the baby was asleep and the car was on, they decided to use a less lethal method to pry the door open. Let me see. Yeah, let me see that. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Let me get that too. Both. Thank you. The officers were going to lower the window or open the car door using the Slim Jams, a much safer route considering they had spare time, but that quickly changed immediately after the officer noticed this. The baby's hurting, huh? Okay? Oh, that was close. The baby was now up and had started crying. Although the car was still on, multiple things could cause this, and they all prompted the officers to get him out faster. There you go. I get it. See? I come in and help out. We appreciate it. The officers were now successful, and as they carried the baby to their squad car, they realized why exactly the baby was crying. What's up? Oh, there's a bottle. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what you want. Some food. Hi, this is Deputy Stubblefield, Volusia County Sheriff's Office. We had an incident uh, where we ended up taking a male uh, to jail, and he has a newborn, I want to say probably about four weeks old maybe, um, in the vehicle, and we have no way of uh, getting in touch with any other kinfolk, and we need DCF to respond here to figure out what to do with the child. The child was handed to DCF and eventually to a family member. The officers did a great job from catching the father to rescuing the child, but the next four officers were so heroic that they were given life-saving awards. Good freaking spot, boys. Good spot. It happened on January 19th, 2023, when officers in search of a stolen Kia Optima with a baby inside saw an exact model on the other side of a fence of an apartment complex. Sir, we got a fence in front of us. I'm over now. Oh, I 
그래. 어머. upon contact the baby was extremely hot motionless and appeared lifeless so it quickly turned from a stolen vehicle operation to a life or death situation hey sweetheart hey darling hi sweetie hey baby girl oh. hi hi what's this huh it's water huh yeah there you go there you go sweetheart okay you're okay you're okay, sweetheart. You're okay. Good freaking spot, boys. Good spot. You're okay, sweetheart. You're okay. You're okay, sweetheart. You're okay. You're okay, baby girl. Good, good spot, man. You're okay, darling. The baby was eventually sent to a hospital and afterward checked out and reunited with her mother. The baby made a full recovery thanks to the officers, and so all four of them were awarded a life-saving award for their heroic actions. Officer Stephen Zawaki, Officer Mark Pollock, Officer Anthony Harvesty, and Officer Landon. If you liked this video, YouTube thinks you'll like these videos even more.